Hey everyone, welcome to Momugi's What's Cooking this week on Food Fantasy Japan, where we talk about current events and anything else interesting that catches our eye. I'm Rin, and well, we're starting with maintenance compensation. Yeah, hundred crystals and hundred fifty stamina get. And yeah, actually, it should be like this month on Food Fantasy Japan already, yeah, rather than this week. Yeah, it's been a while since there was last a, a new foot soul. So yeah, let's check out the new events. So here we see Finn Blueberry Pie. Is this like finished blueberry pie? Yeah, <laughs> like you can see the blueberry inspired accessories on her head. Or oh, are those real blueberries? Yeah, she looks very cute anyway. And this is a summon drop exchange for her. Yep, yep. And yeah, let's see. The rest of this, uh, other than her shards, you can also get her challenge vouchers. And yeah, the rest are standard items, yeah. Yep. And there's a limited time quest. Yeah, you know, the usual. Where you can get magic ink and premium bento and crystals, yeah. And then there's a charge event. For a new UR food soul, Capri Cake. Yeah. So, hmm. Yeah, apparently, Capri Cake is like an Italian chocolate cake, a traditional flourless one um, from the Isle of Capri. So, that's why it's like all dressed in brown, eh? Chocolate cake! Yum! And so, these are the stuff we can get. I think this may be for the gacha, is it? We'll check it later. Yeah. And we can get his shards, his challenge vouchers, and there are also these pouches for SP Foot Soul challenge vouchers. Yeah. And we also have a story event for Mojito. Yeah. So I think this we've seen this before, haven't we? Looks familiar. His skin is definitely not new. Ah, so it says it's um, repeated a few times. So yeah, the rest of the stuff is standard. So as usual, we'll be going for crystals, stamina, and embers. There's also a new major event this week. Yeah, this one! Like, ooh. It has a very Egyptian feel, doesn't it? Like, all the pyramids and stuff. Yeah, and that's because the foot soles are also, like, Egyptian foods in inspired. Yeah. Like the UR foot soul here, we have this UR foot soul, Butterfell. Yeah, so yeah, I haven't tried this foot before. Oh, we have introduced him before? Oh, yeah, now that he looks a bit familiar. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've tried this foot before. Ah, so we don't get his shards, only his skin. This skin, eh? Oh, this skin looks cool. Oops. Looks very gangsta in this. <laughs> yeah. So we oh we get his skin in here like at eight thousand points. Oh okay. Yeah. And let's see. So we have this for the story. And these are like uh, items that we can get, eh? Oh there's this nice frame as well. So this is mm, these are daily quests. Of the event and these are long term quests. Yeah. Oh. Ah. So this foot soul is called Fetel. Hmm. Okay, so. Like. This is the new foot soul for this ranking event. Oh. It's a pastry, I see. So it's like a kind of bread. Oh, it's a combination of pizza and pancake. Oh, sounds nice. Yeah, so it's also an it's also an Egyptian, um, dish. Yeah, so that's why there's all the the, the Egyptian theme. Eh? It's a flaky Egyptian layered pastry. Oh, sounds yummy. Yeah, so this is how she looks like. And these um this challenge vouchers as well eh? is for a uh, SR food so. Koshari, yeah, that's also like a 
Egyptian fried rice. Yeah, with like pasta and lentils and stuff like that. Yeah, with chickpeas and tomato sauce. Yeah, sounds yummy too. All kinds of spices. Oh. And no. Oh. oh, this is also a pretty cool looking avatar. So I guess, yeah, the long term quest will allow you to get until like 80 shots for Fiteru. So, yeah. So that's under the quest. Yeah, so for Koshari, we can get her shots here. Eh? So, yeah, stamina regens every 24 hours. Yeah. Yep, so over here we have like SP foot soles. Yeah. So, these are each individual ones. They are like story events, like mini story events, eh? Where, we, where you go, like, where it's only one time. So, they unlock, like, um, based on every few days, one unlocks. And each one, when you go into it, and like you fight and then you get um you get like stories along the way. Yeah. For Musia. So once we've cleared them we can start unlocking like their stats, right? Like we can build them up. Yeah, so for example this is one that has already been built and building them up is part of the long term quest. So like, this is one that hasn't been built yet, so we'll need 2,000 of the, um, these items. Yeah, the grass, to be able to unlock it. Hmm. So, so far, we have like, the beer all built. Moose is getting along. And Black Tea is still on her way, yeah. And Pizza and Rice are coming soon. And this one over here, uh, this is the boss, looking very evil, yeah. We only get 500 points after we defeat him, oh, okay. I see, I see. Uh, so, yeah, Sil says that he's not very difficult to fight, yeah. So what's the purpose of unlocking these foot souls? Ah, it's part of the long term quest list. Ah, I see. So for example, this one goes that we have to um, unlock 5 of Beer's traits. So we've unlocked 4 out of 5 so far. Eh? Didn't we unlock all for Beer? I thought we unlocked all for Beer. Oh, I saw it wrong then. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's pizza and rice as well. Oh, so if we unlock all of that, like if we have unlock all the food souls traits, yeah, then we'll get the 80 shots for Fertil. What's, what's the name again? Yeah, oh, Fertil. Fertil. Yeah, Fertil. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so. Yeah, so this is the stamina, and if we go to shop... Ah, there's nothing that we can buy! Oh no! Yeah, they don't even want your money now. Ah, that's really strange. Ah, you can't even pay cash to buy stuff. Yeah, it's just they sold out. Ah, so how are you going to ace this event? Unless they're expecting you to be able to do it like... Like it's a freebie kind of event where you're expected to not need to spend anything. Wow. <laughs> yep. So anyway, yeah. Uh, that's for this event. Yeah, it looks uh, different from the usual that we've that uh, we've seen so far. Uh, but still, says yeah, not very interesting. Ah. So on to the gacha. And. Yeah, for the gacha, 6th oh, anniversary. Has it been 6 years already? Wow. Yeah, we have SP Milk. Woohoo! Ah, we've heard about SP Milk before, but 
Yeah, this is the first time that, well, she's just appeared in the Japan server. Yeah. And well, Milk looks like this grown up. Let's see, let's see. Oh, oh nice. It's in Life 2D. Yeah. Yeah. Awaken is really nice, but yeah, this is a little anticlimactic, I'd uh, say. After seeing the Awaken one first. A preferred fallen angel? Ooh! And of course she's a healer, eh? So, let's see... Oh, she heals all allies and also buffs the attack as well as attack speed of all allies by 20% and this carry on for 5 seconds, that's her basic skill. As for her energy skill... Oh! She grants all allies like um immunity. Yeah, for Im oh invincibility. Invincibility for like three seconds. And oh yeah. The for two allies with the highest attack, ten of their normal attacks will be definitely critical. Yeah, the next ten of their normal attacks will be definitely critical. And at the same time, she also buffs all allies' skill damage by 1%. And this carry on, carries on for 5 seconds. Ooh. And her third skill is... Ah, for basic skills... Oh, basic skills, um... The rate of it being executed will increase by 10%. And... All allies will receive less damage. Yeah, receive damage will decrease by 11%. Ooh. Cool. Let's see. Oh, he looks really cute. Oh. Hmm. What's this? That's alright. Not bad. <laughs> so it's like, oh my gosh, it looks so anticlimactic. Well, I mean, it's, she's a healer, so I wasn't expecting her to do some like super bombastic attack spells or anything. Yeah, I guess it's alright for a healer. Oh yeah, and she's the usual cost, eh? 350, that's 3,500 for guaranteed copy. Do you want to consider that? Haha. <laughs> we do have some crystals to spare, yeah? Anyway, there's also picking shredded pork. Yeah, this is guaranteed. Yeah. Well, the usual for guarantee, foot souls. But anyway, we already have him at five star, so yeah, we don't need him. And there's also SP Pizza. Uh, oh. Well, SP foot souls are crystals only. Yeah, what about this banner? <laughs> oh, kind of thing of it, yeah. Yeah, I didn't notice, I totally didn't notice that. But, like, you see how here it says Pizza SP. Over here it says Ratatouille. Hmm, this totally doesn't look like Ratatouille to me. And here it still, it still says you are as well. Ah. Well, we're all used to it, right? <laughs> yeah. Japan server typos. Yep, and new foot souls. Yeah, 
this is what we saw in the summon drop exchange and the charge event. Capri cake and yeah, Finn blueberry pie. Mm. Yeah, let's check them out. Yeah, Finn should it's probably Finland, right? Finnish blueberry pie. Yeah. Oh, what's this lighting? This is like warm lighting and suddenly cool lighting. Preferred Fallen Angel. And let's see, he's a healer type. So, basic skill. He heals. Oh, he recovers the points of all allies' HP. And also his own energy points and there's also a 30% chance that he'll have all allies in invincibility yeah invincible mode um for three seconds yeah and for his energy skill hmm ah he removes all enemies buff and also yeah, recovers HP for all allies and also buffs their attack. And at the same time, ah, he makes them immune to silence. For, oh no, he makes himself immune to silence for 3 seconds. This is Ling skill question mark as usual. Oh, he's running really fast. Where's he dashing off to? So I was wondering if, he, if they accidentally animated his running speed too quickly. Oh, this is pretty nice. Yeah, this this is more impressive than um Hilda SP Milk. Even though they are both Hildas. Ah, uh, I see now. I was. It's, I was expecting, I was having too low expectations for healers. Ah. And this is finished blueberry pie. Oh, pretty! This is so pretty! Look at the background. Ah. Yeah. She looks like she's from an atelier game like this, eh? Preferred Fallen Angel. Oh, we want to collect her. We hear she's quite strong. Oh, I see, I see. She's cute too, and she sounds yummy. Blueberry pie sounds yummy. Oh, that's cute. Wow, 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 wow! Look at this animation. Now this is super healer animation. She beats Capri Cake. She beats SP Milk. She, I think she beats all the previous healers that we have seen. Like wow, wow! What is this? We are like you know, SP is supposed to be the best. Then you know, and then UR and then SR. But and SR is like the animation wise is totally like yeah the other way round the opposite. Yeah, someone is totally trolling us. <laughs> well, well, well. And let's see. Oh, yep, the guaranteed at 100. And yeah, it's pretty much what you expect. And this is the usual as well, eh? Yep. Then there's also Yuba Vegetable Spring Roll Grass Jelly Yeah, and Braised Bean Cut Skin These are all food souls, they're rerunning So it's the usual tool, eh? This is 40 times for 150 for the Ember Spool and did, they, did they accidentally switch that? Because normally it's 30 times for Ember Spool, eh? Anyway, yeah. 
That's fine for us. So, yep. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we, yeah, we aren't gonna pull for this gacha anyway. So, yeah. We already have them. And we aren't interested in building them. So, yeah. Maybe for Capri Cake and Blueberry Pie. Though we want Blueberry Pie. So, yeah. That's all for this week. This month. <laughs> and if you enjoyed our video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!